I'm playing this instrument called the Mohan Veena. It's got the shape of a guitar and it actually is fitted with 20 strings. The strings on the bottom that we have, the 12 strings, and uh, if I play them, uh, each player has his own way of tuning it. And uh, basically we don't play those strings, uh, we don't strike them, but they play themselves. When you strike a note that is tuned to the same pitch as one of those strings is. For example, if I play an open, now I, I, I muted these strings, but you can still hear sound. Those are the strings in the bottom that are playing and creating that sound. We have three strings on which we play the melody using the slide here. It's a little bar of steel. Um, and then there's five strings called the drone strings. It's a very interesting instrument because it's actually a, a hybrid of several different instruments. And um, the body of a guitar, the strings of a sitar, and uh, the style of playing of uh, the sitar and an instrument called the sarod. And then you use a slide which uh, takes it back to the ancient Indian instrument called the veena, the chitra veena, which used to be played with a, a glass bead. And uh, so it's like, a, it's like a slide guitar or a Hawaiian guitar in some ways. Since this is an Indian instrument, normally we play things on it that are very Eastern and very Indian, um, consisting of rags, uh, you know, which are basically different scalar combinations of notes that have spe specific emotive qualities. Um, for example, That was a little something I just played. It was totally improvised and it was in Rag Eamon, uh, also called the Lydian mode in Western music. To give you an idea of what this instrument would sound like in a, in a Western setting, um, I'll attempt to play a pop melody.
you enjoyed this demonstration of the Mohan Veena. Uh, it's an instrument that I'm trying to introduce to people here in the US and in the West. Um, and I, I believe it can be used in many different ways, from very traditional ways to also very experimental ways in which you have the Mohan Veena combined with drums and bass and guitars and all the normal Western instruments. And it adds a very different flavor, especially because uh, it's it can hit those frequencies in between the notes. Like it's it's a bit like, for example, when a blues player bends a string, and you feel that certain magic. It's because he's actually playing in between the notes, and this instrument does it exclusively. It's a very difficult instrument to play because you really can't use your eyes, because what you see from here is not what it's actually playing, which would be out here. And these lines are just visual reference points. So we end up playing this instrument by ear. And we have to constantly be, be listening to what we are playing and be fine-tuning ourselves. Uh, even the difference of a millimeter changes the pitch and it makes it sound bad. So it's, it's a very beautiful instrument and I hope that people enjoy it.